Alright, so we got alone in the dark into the madness trailer. Let's go to the video. Let's go, man. Uh, let's go 12. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? For the what? Emily Edward in the madness. Into the madness. I love games where there are different endings. You know. I oh, I do too. Where you can really choose your own adventure or affect the world, or the world affects you. That and the gameplay certainly are the power. Of oh, games. I know him. I know this dude. One of the most important parts of the game is place. It's at its very core a haunted mansion story. Oh, okay. So it, okay. You need to make sure that okay. you recreate your setto again. It's a classic haunted. Okay, I, I understand. Okay. I think what I'm most drawn to is the the different characters because they are all so so fully fleshed out. Um, so colorful and vibrant and you really do it, yeah even like for the time I agree okay a new character the world is completely changed I relish the darkness I think it suits me <laughs> she got the Riddler dress on at the start of the game you get to choose if you want to play as Edward or Ooh. Emily I'm gonna and go with Edward on this take one. will be slightly different depending on who you choose wait for real the people that said it will react differently to you depending on who you play Detective Conby. Detective Conby. Solved your case yet? Hey, little lady, how's your evening been going? Ups and downs, I suppose. You know, so, and I got to kind of see pictures of all the characters before we started. So to now be able to hear the kind of VO of all of them is um so one's a, is really it. One's a detective. I what is like she? So many of these AAA titles are, uh, you know, just like very straightforward there was something about this this particular brand of games that, that was very unexpected it just had a kind of life to it and a kind of uh did y'all see her face that i really liked emily don't worry i think i'm close i'm gonna set everything right wait a minute this just be careful now this game might be something i can't lie hold up hey listen this game wait a minute Hold up. Hey, this might be our, uh, this might be like our, our little, um, because every single year we have that one game, that one scary game that has like different, uh, endings. And like, so like in 2023, I don't not, I don't really think they had one in 2023, but in 2022, we had the quarry. We had games like until dawn. I'm not saying, you know, uh, alone in the dark is like these games, you know, like directly like it, but I'm saying like, we've had like that game to where, you know, it's like one big mystery at the end of the game. It's like one big, like, you know, just, it blows everybody's mind. But at the same time, there's like different outcomes and stuff like that. Like you can kill off your character and stuff like that. So it looks like, I don't know if, if alone in the dark is going to do it. Like, you know, like until dawn and, uh, um, and, 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 you know, the core and stuff like that. But I do like this type of style and I can't lie to you, bro. I get like a little, um, like a, um, devil in me. Like, do you guys know the, the game, the devil? Oh, wait. Yeah. 2023 did have a game like the quarry and until dawn, the devil in me, the devil in me, uh, was a game that it was like, it had about what five to six maybe seven uh characters in it they all had like you know you could like well i'm not saying you would deliberately kill these uh characters off i mean if you wanted to you, you wanted to but like every player had like their own like uh choice and stuff like that you know they can die right here they could die right there stuff like that so you never know this might actually be our years like our um i mean i don't know how to describe it but i'm gonna just make something up this year alone in the dark might be our uh our 2020 2020 uh, <laughs> i almost said 2020 2020 2024 version of like those games of like the decision making games of like the scary decision making games because i i'm gonna be honest with you uh that that girl that lady w w I'm, I'm gonna try to show you right here that lady when she turned her face into the wall she came back and her face was like a thousand times scary or whatever that would get me i can't lie so this might be our year's uh scary decision making game uh, and I love games like this. I'm going to be honest. I love games like this. I love The Devil and Me. I love The Quarry. I love Until Dawn. All those games are absolutely amazing, in my opinion, because I love decision-making games, especially scary decision-making uh, games, bro. Absolutely uh, amazing. I love those games so much. So listen, I can't lie to you. I don't know if this is only on Xbox. I mean, this did come from Xbox um, 
Xbox um, 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 channel. So it might be on the Xbox, but I'm going to be honest with you. The character models don't look too bad. They actually look like uh, real life. He does look very familiar. I don't know. Uh, I think they showed his name, but um, I never knew the guy's name. But I, I think I did see him from like a from like a show or something. Like This guy definitely looked like he looked very, very, very uh, recognizable. But other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about Alone in the Dark? I'm going to be honest with you, bro. It, it I don't want to compare, but like I'm going to compare. If it can remain, I don't know, because I feel like a lot of these games, like a lot of the scary decision games, they have, it's like a period where it's very dry. And that's not me coming at the game, but like it gets you ready for like the fast pace, you know, this happens, this happens, this happens, jump scare, this happens, like, you know, I and I understand it. But at the end of the day, I just hope that this game right here can remain interesting throughout the whole thing you know because i love games like this other than that comment down below again what do you guys think about alone in the dark make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video we have more videos coming later today so you guys are there for the next one i'm out and